Hi, my name is John Steinbrenner. I'm a pastor at Cross of Christ in Boise, Idaho, and privileged to serve you as the president of our Pacific Northwest District. The Apostle Paul once expressed his gratitude to Christians for their partnership in the gospel. For the same reason, I appreciate all of you. By God's grace, we walk together in faith in our Savior Jesus, and by God's grace, we have been called to work together in sharing the gospel of free forgiveness. You and your congregation are a vital part of the Synod team. Together with over 1,250 Wells congregations, God blesses us as we train new pastors and teachers, equip the believers in our churches, and plant new missions to spread His gospel in the Northwest and beyond. The Wells missionaries came when I was in grade school. They rented a building right in front of my dad's business. And then we saw that they had signs that were, um, that they were offering English classes. So my family and I started coming to the English classes. Then right after the classes, they used to have a Bible study. Eventually it's like, oh, there's a church service on Sunday. And so began Idili Pichardo's journey in the Wells. Within a few years, she was attending Luther Preparatory School and then Martin Luther College before graduating and receiving her first call as a teacher in a Wells High School. Su familia era rica, ¿sí? Recuerden que Trujillo era una, un militar. You know, okay, I don't think militar. that many people have the privilege of waking up and doing something that they absolutely love and it doesn't seem like a burden, you know, and just seeing the results of the students is just wonderful. God's Word did the work. But all of us shared in the effort that brought Idili to her calling in this classroom. It was our Synod's mission efforts in the Dominican Republic that first introduced her to the basics, and our ministerial education schools that nurtured her faith and prepared her for ministry. And now, the cycle repeats as she brings God's Word to a new generation. Obviously, her strong faith in her Savior and the training she's had has put her in a very good position to be the, the gospel sharer with, you know, this variety of uh, students that God sends our way. Idili is the reason Wells churches make congregational mission offerings. She and thousands like her have come to know Jesus through our missions and have been educated in our ministerial education schools. CMO provide the infrastructure that enables ministry and equips the next generation of Wells Christians. All the experiences that I've lived have only made me a better person and a better Christian, and I can share my story with others, you know, and just talk about that and all the joy that I have being here. Through our synod and our districts, we have the privilege to serve people like Adili, empowering them to serve the kingdom. Here in the wonderful Pacific Northwest, missionaries started sharing God's Word many decades ago. From then until now, God has grown churches in Idaho and Oregon, Washington and into British Columbia, and up into the great state of Alaska. God has blessed our mission efforts as we have walked and worked together. And as we continue to trust His promises and preach and teach His Word and walk and work together by faith in Jesus, God will bless us. Soon, everyone on our team of over 1,250 Synod congregations will be making their mission offering commitments for 2016. As we thankfully plan, always remember, our mission offerings are not just about budget numbers. They are a thankful response to God's love. And they are about souls, souls who need to hear the saving gospel of Jesus. Here are some examples of what God is doing through our mission offerings. Our Synod exists to do the work that's beyond the scope of individual congregations. Perhaps the most visible example is our ministerial education system, preparing the next generation of pastor, teachers, missionaries, and staff ministers. The wells as a whole and the offerings that they've given and the prayers that they've prayed and the food that they've donated to the pantry, 
They've helped me in my studies and they've helped my classmates and they continue to help classmates and, and students training for the ministry. Um, for years and years and years we've been blessed with those offerings. In recent years, Martin Luther College has added a new emphasis on training teachers for the growing number of early learning centers. And we've created programs to better prepare our students for urban and cross-cultural ministry. Anything that steps us outside of our comfort zone is frightening and it's scary, um, but it's the only way to reach the people that need to be reached. Wells World Missions now serves in nearly two dozen countries around the world. In Africa, for example, we bring clean water, medical care, and, most importantly, the gospel message to more than 50,000 souls. And I don't think there was one week that went by where I didn't see this, this eureka of the gospel come up in people's eyes. Wells Home Missions continues its long-term plan to facilitate the planting of 10 new congregations a year in locations all across the country. Dealing with all these temptations and dealing with all these problems, but... We just know that God will give us the direction we need. Uh, he'll, it, it's a matter of putting people in contact with the Word. Events like the Wells Youth Rally demonstrate how our Synod is also serving young people New online courses are helping us reach lay people in exciting new ways. And films like Come Follow Me and the upcoming My Son, My Savior put powerful evangelism tools in the hands of congregations. The list goes on. Our Synod offers proven, dynamic ways to serve our congregations and help us all reach out with the gospel. the blessings of our partnership in gospel ministry. All praise and thanks to God. We all benefit as we ponder the grace of God in Christ, as we walk and work together, welcoming new people into our congregations, building each other up with God's promises, sharing God's message of forgiveness with others. As your church family and leaders consider your upcoming congregational mission offering for Wells, Missions, and Ministry, remember how God's undeserved love has made you a part of His safe family, His team. And that moves us to share His love with other people, people whom Jesus loved and people for whom Jesus died. You, me, us, partners in the gospel. May God bless us as we walk and work together in the great Northwest and with our brothers and sisters throughout our synod.